Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a do-it-yourself build. And we're actually really excited because it's gonna be for our trunk, so we can build a whole setup where we can use it for cooking, for appliances, for storage, storage, especially for storage because if you guys know a Jeep Renegade. Um, Not much space in the trunk. Yes, and we have to find a different solution for it. So in this video, you're gonna see how we're gonna turn this whole thing into something that's practical and makes sense. Yeah, let's start the build. Yes, sounds good. Okay, as you can see, I made it to a completely different location and I'm shooting right now on the Osmo Pocket 3 and I wanted to make sure to talk about the two products that we received. If there's any other brands out there who wants to work with us, just email us and we will figure something out. So the first product, as you have seen in other videos, I really like to shoot with the Osmo Pocket 3. That's also in my camera bag all the time, but I didn't have any ND filters before. It was a short notice trip, had no chance to get it, but Freewheel were so kind to send us their ND filters, polarized filters combined, as well as mist filters. So you have ND filters, you have ND and polarized filters, and you have then mist filters, and I think a few other filters as well. Now this whole setup has a small upgrade, but I also have different ND filters for my drone. That's also from Freewheel. I really just like the product and of course price. I will link down below if you want to check it out. And now the second product has to do with my phone. What is just really crazy because this whole setup works pretty good, I would say. It's from Sandmark. They were so kind to send us the phone case and then they have the lens a 58 millimeter lens and of course you I, they were so kind to send us ND filters as well. So we have one ND filter, a wearable ND filter from ND8 to ND64. So you just screw it on, super simple, really straightforward, and then you screw it on and on here, and then you're ready to shoot some cinematic B-roll or a vlog or whatever. Here you have a really nice image, and with the ND filter, you also can really dial in your settings so it doesn't look this iPhone sharpness look. And also use the free Blackmagic app, you just can download it, and then you can really dial in everything. What is really Really helpful. Thank you, Sandmark, and also thank you, Freewheel, for sending us the stuff. But now let's jump back to our DIY building process. Uh, it's still a little bit something to do, but I'm stoked. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> this build is completely done. Quite happy with the build so far. Sorry, I couldn't show so much because we really wanted to make sure that we get, you know, like everything done by today. Because today we decided to go on a full short adventure just to test out everything, get a feel for it, and then see if this makes sense or if we have to find a different solution. But with that said, tonight we're gonna drive off to, I don't know where, uh, still figure out where to go and how long we're gonna stay, so we don't know yet. So, see you. At the trip, I would say. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna go for a run. That's why the setup. So see you later. We decided to drive in the evening just to avoid all the traffic and it made completely sense because it was a really nice drive. And we also went to Garda Lake. It's not so far. It was a nice campground. We had the chance to really test everything. Uh, we had two days of rain, but it was still okay. And this whole place is, by the way, super beautiful. Definitely have to check this out. It's really something else. And I can see in summer, it's beautiful. On the other side, we always had to put all the bigger camping gear out of the trunk to reach the boxes underneath the box, if that makes sense. And we noticed, yeah, that really doesn't make the cut because 
of course we want to have everything on small and compact but also like convenient and especially if we if my brother travels with us and he has a suitcase for example then we also want to store it in the back instead of on the back seats or if we're gonna go with friends we want to make sure that the front everything works completely like the, like normal during the day and if we go camping or if people come with us then we have enough space so now we came up with a different solution yeah guys as you can see um the box is still living we decided to build like a new shelf basically in the car and you're gonna have like here just a workbench and also some um, small boxes the car is gonna look similar like this and then we can put you know like tables and chairs and everything in there because we don't have much space in the renegade i'm still like trying to imagine but you're gonna look it up here and then that's the finished project yeah you, can, you couldn't see it you have to wait until the end but i think it's gonna turn out fine so with that let's keep rolling That's our final setup. I hope you're not gonna change it anymore because this video took I don't know how many how many months because forever. yeah really forever. But okay, let's start with the tour. So this would be our almost final setup for the trunk. I think the only part that's missing, so just imagine this part, is that here would be another separation and extension if we clip it down like a table basically that fold up and then fold down but besides that i think we are pretty happy how it turned out because we wanted it to be super simple and i think that's exactly what we wanted yes so we have our sink with a, a push system and then like for everybody who's interested in this kind of sink it's from i think it's called boxio it's super cool because you have your fresh water and dirt water tank so it's i think each is five liters then we have our coffee machine here because we thought we wanted to have a little bit of luxury with us so just waking up and making a coffee with just a press of a button last but not least is our it's actually a bread box <laughs> <laughs> yeah true <laughs> we made it a little bit more functional for our stuff we're gonna put like everything that needs to be in there exactly and then maybe some stuff in another box uh, down here so yeah just ready to take it yeah and that's why we wanted to have this kind of setup or why we changed our first project to this one and that's simply because of space <laughs> Comment down below what you think about this setup or the setup that we had before. I would be curious just to hear what you think, what could be better. We are just really wanting to improve. This is of course everything super cheap, but this makes more sense than buying for 500 bucks uh, wood. But with that, nothing more to say. And we see you in the next video. Exciting trips ahead. I tell you guys, exciting, exciting trips.